Ask Reddit by Joshua. What's the most ignorant thing a tourist has said about your country? In Thailand, berating locals for eating Italian food because Thai food is so tasty. Bitch, Thai people eat Thai food every day. Going out for Italian is like you going out for Thai food in your home country. I went out for Italian food twice when I was in Thailand. A Thai friend of ours brought us to her favorite place, for one. People like all kinds of food, and it's okay to not eat the same type of food every day. Everyone here speaks such good English in London. Also I've been asked repeatedly what my plans for Thanksgiving are. Well I do suppose people speak pretty good English in England. I was talking to lady in a bar in Nick once and told her I grew up in Malaysia and she genuinely asked me do you guys use money there or trade stuff? Occasionally we trade in people. Okay your total is 3 Americans, 1 Australian and half an Irish. Just yesterday, I don't want to follow it on his traffic laws. What's the best way to get away with driving a vehicle I'm not licensed to drive? More funny than offensive. Where's the Parthenon? About 800 miles that way. Our Iceland regularly gets posts asking how to avoid paying parking tickets or speeding fines or asking if anything will happen if they leave without paying them. Then they never seem to understand why natives might be pissed and believe them feeling like they don't need to pay the tickets is a just reason to not pay it. Holy shit I live in a Wali and one time a tourist asked about turning the waterfalls off to clean them. I wish I was making this up. I live in the Contagursus, but I've been to Alaska a couple times, absolutely love it up there, and frequently lurk in our Alaska. Tourists ask all kinds of dumb questions about how to see the northern lights, especially when they are planning a trip to Alaska in June, when the sun literally never sets and therefore the sky doesn't get dark enough to see the aurora. Not sure I've ever seen a tourist ask this particular question, but I've seen Alaska locals respond that the northern lights are turned off in the summer to replace the bulbs, and I absolutely believe that someone has accepted that without questioning it. Someone compared Canadian money to Monopoly money and then asked if we had Monopoly in Canada. That person sounds a little loony. There were a couple of tourists who decided that it would be a good idea to stand directly in the path of the Queen's Guard to take a selfie with them. Those guys don't stop for anyone, they will walk through you if they have to. I've seen so many videos of it happening online but I never thought I'd get to see it with my own eyes. Man. The look on their faces when they got yelled at to move out the way, it was like a weird mixture of terror and offense. Like they completely expected them to stop and pose or something. It always baffles me that people seem to forget that they are actual soldiers and not just some guys playing dress up for the sake of tourists. The audacity of some people. I saw a woman first hand get absolutely smoked for trying to touch a guard's rifle. Her whole family tried to argue that it was a prop and said everyone was blowing it out of proportion while she was being detained. My girl, that is a real solid or with a real gun on active duty. It wasn't about the country exactly but I was working in a hotel reception in a Mexican beach and an American woman told me that the water of the sea was very hot, if I could do something. I thought okay maybe I didn't understand correctly can you speak slower and she repeat the same question. Of course I did a Mayan dance and the water was colder afterwards. I'd have taken a few ice cubes, thrown them in the ocean, then given her a smile and a thumbs up. We're here for a week, so we thought we'd drive out to the Grand Canyon, stop in Vegas, and then see the Golden Gate Bridge. They landed on the east coast. Lol they better get point. An American couple on holiday in the same hotel as my mum told her they'd visited England and seen the Eiffel Tower. She told them that was in France, and they condescending said no mom, it's in London. She agreed it must be and walked off. Maybe they flew into Manchester and got the train to Blackpool by accident? 
when my British friend said he didn't want to visit me in Seattle unless he also had time to visit New York. Had to explain to him that's like saying you can't visit Dublin if you can't also make time for Istanbul. Funnily, my aunt who lived in San Francisco for decades told me to pop by when I traveled to Maine a few years back from Finland. Same distance from Finland to Maine as from Maine to San Francisco. Don't know what she was thinking. I'm French, I live in a highly touristic area, and I don't even know where to begin. Australians. Australians are benevolent creatures, free of sin, probably too drunk to speak, it's hard to tell with their accent. They're good people. The Japanese are good people too, they treat us locals like if we were cats not to be disturbed, it is quite relaxing. But the rest of you all including the other French? You're all ignorant monsters, and next time an American yells because I dare walking on the bridge he was photographing he too will have spectacular examples of French rudeness to share at home. I grew up in Montmartre. I feel you. I am probably on many pictures as I often walk with a bag at home crossing huge groups of tourists. When visiting LA I was chatting to a girl at a party and when she asked where I'm from I told her, London. She then said OMG I hate London. I was slightly confused and asked if she'd ever been and she said no. I was like okay nice chatting with you. So, I'll be able to make it to New York in a few hours from here. Mom. You are in Southern California. You're talking about driving to New York. That is a complete opposite side of the country, and it is a long way from here. You have no concept of the scale of this country. You're gonna be really upset when it takes you a good 6 hours to get across Riverside County, let alone the other 5 days, maybe 6 or 7, to drive to New York. No, you cannot get to New York in a few hours without flying. Even then, the flights Laxnik are like 6 hours which is more than a few. It's roughly the same flight distance as Paris to Tehran. It doesn't look anything like Emily in Paris. Yeah no shit. Every American movie with location in Paris makes you think the Eiffel Tower is two streets from everywhere. Also happens in Rome with the Colosseum. I've been here three days and I haven't heard the British accent yet. Yeah? That's because you've heard several. We are a multitude of accents and dialects, like every other country. There is no one British accent. The number and variety of accents you folks fill the UK with is truly glorious. I'm sure I haven't heard even half of the possibilities as an American, but I love it. The capital of Malaysia is Singapore. Lol everyone knows Singapore is in Wisconsin. Something about potassium production and our relations with Uzbekistan. Kazakhstan is the greatest country in the world. When I was bartending in college I had an American woman insist Iceland was so safe because everyone was carrying a gun at all times, like she didn't just say it once, she kept contradicting and arguing with me after I told her Iceland has insanely strict gun laws compared to the USA and definitely does not allow everyone to open conceal carry. That woman might have confused Iceland with Svalbard, Norwegian sovereign territory, but somewhat close to Iceland. Everyone carries a gun there due to polar peers. The murder rate is like, zero. Kinda the inverse, but I think it still counts. I'm an Australian, went on holidays in America. Ended up at an outback steakhouse for shits and gigs. The menu had a seafood dish associated with Toowoomba. Toowoomba's inland. Also I was talking to the waitress and for the longest time. They had the flag upside down and it took another Australian to point it out. Like surely they saw a picture of the flag. They had two. And it was still upside down. It's my understanding that the guys who started Outback Steakhouse had never been to Australia and did absolutely no research. I saw a red short recently of a woman who was astonished to find that the 4th of July isn't celebrated worldwide, and many people had never even heard of it. Amazing. And as a Brit here not something we'd likely celebrate, is it, really? 
Filipino here the US tried to get us to do it by scheduling the official granting of independence, from them, on the 4th of July. And we did for a decade or so before deciding the declaration of independence from Spain counted and we wanted our own damn date. I lived in Costa Rica for several years working in tourism. Once had a woman say what a lovely island it was, not an island at all, while there. Also had a woman say she was going to complain to Congress about the state of the roads. Costa Rica is not part of the US. Congress has nothing to do with it. Why can't I pay with American dollars in Canada? Canada is part of the US. After explaining that Canada is a whole different country and that they can go exchange their currency a few blocks away, they just threw a tantrum. After multiple curses and threats, they finally left. How can you be so dense as to think a different country is part of the US and uses us money? What do they teach in American schools? How did they even get into Canada? Did they just drive past customs without stopping? Had an American couple behind me be completely outraged that the Italian restaurant we were in would not accept them to pay in dollars. Wait, you don't take American dollars with a huge emphasis on American. It was pretty funny how dumb those people were. Oh that's a fairly common one in travel groups. Asking how to tip and if tipping in dollars is okay. At least they asked in advance I guess. That Norway is the capital of Sweden. Oh, Denmark is in Sweden too. Do I have to write S because this is Reddit and people might actually think that I think that my country is in Sweden?